What's up you guys and welcome back. I hope you guys have had a wonderful holiday season so far. Um, I finally, finally, finally have gotten my Sephora haul. I know it's crazy, but I'm sure you guys are experiencing the same things. I had placed orders with Sephora and Ulta and um, a couple other like Target Ultas and stuff like that. And it took a very long time, specifically for my Sephora order to come more than anything. Um, so that is why we are now getting into it. I did purchase quite a bit of stuff for the Sephora VIB sale. And then um, that took a little bit of time to get through. And then by the time that I got my like Black Friday haul stuff together, it just all made sense to just kind of wait till everything got together and then we could just do one big haul together. I think I said together way too many times there. Apologize. Stuff has been sitting in my um, beauty space area for a couple days now and I have been eager to just jump in and start playing with it, but I wanted to wait to get my first impressions with you guys. So let's get to it. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Stephanie and I hope you guys will hit that subscribe channel. But if you guys are already a subscriber, I really appreciate you guys hanging out and coming back and seeing me again and seeing all the cute little things that I picked up at Sephora. So remember everything that I do talk about though will be linked down below if you guys want to check any of these products out. Let's do this. So let me go through the quick stuff, which is like the skincare, because I've already, that's, it's the one thing I've already started to use because I really needed it. And I was like, I can't wait. Um, but it is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant. I swear by this stuff. It was definitely a product that I was like, that is super expensive for something that I normally can get at a much cheaper cost and get the same results thinking that way. But the long-term like results of my skin on this product has been phenomenal. And I just love the application of it. So this is like my third or fourth one. I love the pump because I can dip my, like I can pour my serum on top of it and then kind of pump it. And it just kind of like all gets nice and mixed up in there. And then I just kind of throw it on my face. So absolutely love this. I definitely recommend this. Anytime I see like little sample sizes from like Sephora or wherever, I totally stock up on them. I've raved about them to my friends before. If you not, have not tried Drunk Elephant, I definitely recommend them. I really, really like their stuff. I think they have a really great line and this is one of my favorites. So did pick up that. I also picked up some stuff from Makeup by Mario. I did pick up his eyeshadow palette a while ago and it was just like his basics. It's right here. I wanted to dive into his line, a little bit hesitant about it, um, but I decided to give it a dive and I thought, why not give it a shot with this? So this is the one that I've already had for a while. It wasn't part of this haul, but there's a purpose to the story. I picked it up, really, really enjoy it. This is a palette that I go to every day, you guys. And so I was like, hmm, what do I really want to try? And I came across his brushes, which I had remembered saving. And I was like super excited because I was able to pick up two of them. So the first one I picked up is the EF2 Cosmetics brush. I think this is the one that was a little bit more difficult for me to find because every time I went into store, it was not there and I would like touch it and play with it. Um, and I was like always mad. So I knew it was something I wanted so I remember that when the sale came, I was like, I need to get it. Thought it would be a perfect brush to use as like an everyday eyeshadow brush. The other brush I picked up is the F3 brush. Uh, this is their cos just says cosmetics brush, but this is the F3 and this is a dual ended brush. This one although sold me because I was like, okay, this just looks like it would be really good for highlight um, and or, you know, to like dust off powder and stuff. So dual ended. Again, the way that this is formed and shaped just leads me to believe that this is going to be a great, great brush to like highlight with, to like dust loose powder underneath my eyes on. I just, it looks good. I wanted to pick up a mascara set, but I didn't end up getting it because I wasn't really sold on it. Although I came across this set and I was like, all right, I'm sold. I have been very, very impressed lately with the brand Ilia. And this one comes with the mascara. I believe the two mascaras, a tinted lip oil, and then a hydrating lip mask. And their products that I look at just look very exciting. And I'm just really excited to play around with like clean beauty more. $29 was the price for this box. I get two mascaras, which again, I was looking for mascara. So I think it worked out perfectly fine. 
And then this little guy, this little lip mask is what I'm excited also to try. So let's talk about this. So I wanna talk about Pat McGrath because I did pick up quite a few things for Pat McGrath. I know, I know. A while ago I tried Pat McGrath palette and I'm pretty sure I had issues with it. Um, I wanted to mention here because I know you can get quite a few products from Pat McGrath at Sephora and I was like, I need to talk about this because I'm super excited because you guys know it's Pat McGrath. This is the Pat McGrath um, Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. <sighs> well, like, I don't even want to open it because look at how gorgeous this is. So beautiful. My goodness, this is everything that I want in a cheek palette, all the colors that I would love. And I know that look, like I feel they look good on me. I always gravitate towards these colors. And then this highlighter was just divine. Get it? Like divine. So here you have the highlighter, then you have this more bronzier one, and then this like soft matte rosy one. Very excited about this. I definitely think that this was worth the money. I was almost tempted to purchase this other one that Sephora did have available, but I was like, no, I know I'm not going to love it. I know I'm going to love this one more. So I'll just like wait until they come back. But then they were, I was like, well, I have to spend so much money to pick something up. So what am I going to get now? So I was like, I'm going to buy something. Like I, I got to buy something because I want that percentage off. So what am I going to get? And of course I picked this up. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership Omega Celestial Odyssey palette. <sighs> Y'all, I am praying that this palette works for me. I'm, I'm, you know, hyping myself up and I'm like, stuff. it was a fluke, it was something else, maybe it was just the, the combination of dry skin and maybe it was an irritant from an, from an eye cream. It wasn't the Pat McGrath palette. <sighs> That's what I'm hoping for, you guys. I'm telling you guys, that promotion, I could have gotten in a lot of trouble with that promotion. She, they had a lot of great palettes and so I was like, do I really want this one or do I want any of the other ones? But I was like, no this is good. Like this is a good palette. There's color in here. There's some neutrals in here. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of playtime in here and I love it. And I feel like it's going to be so freaking stunning for the holidays. It's funny. I'm actually talking about this palette because I did a makeup application for a couple of girls for their birthday party. And one of the girls asked if I, you know, she could bring her own product and she brought one of the Pat McGrath palettes. And it was so freaking easy for me to use on her. It was divine. So it made me super excited to like get this palette and like try it out. I feel like it's really just going to give me all the feels I want. I have a couple holiday parties and I've already planned out kind of my looks. So let me tell you because I feel like you guys would totally understand. So I have my anniversary coming up and that's on Thursday. So my plan is to wear, I want to do like a complete like black smoky eye with this black one right here because it's got like multi glitter in it. I know, going bold there. Then I have a holiday party on Friday, which is like very more low key. It's like local bar stuff, but you you know, your girl's gonna, you're gonna take it up a notch. It's the holidays, right? So then my plan is to go in with this green right here, this more brighter green, like a more forest. Do you see it? Like a more forest green right here. Oh my gosh. And then the, and then the following week, I have another holiday party for my husband. And I'm going to wear this dark green, this one right here. I'm going to blow it out. You see it? I'm going to blow it out and I'm going to throw it on. That is my plan. It's like a blue green, right? That's my plan. Let's say that like shit hits the fan, which it could. Then your girl is going to go in with these more pinkier tones. And then take like the green on the lower lash line though. I'm going to, I'm going to play it all. I don't know. And I also want it to pair well with this, which I did pick up on the Sephora site. So this is the one thing I did pick up on the Sephora site from Pat McGrath. Uh, this is the, this, uh, what is this set? The divine mini divine rose lip trio. So it comes with like the lip liner, the lip, the lipstick, and then the lip gloss. Now I was a little saddened because this didn't have that great of reviews. This one and then the Charlotte Tilbury, like little mini lip sets, those didn't get really good reviews either. And I have the little Charlotte Tilbury set and I thought it was really good. So I was like, you know what? I was like, screw the reviews. I'm gonna try this out because I feel like it's I feel like it's gonna work for me. I also thought about going with this trio because I thought that I could get a lot of use out of this color too. So I'm like, why not? We'll give it a shot. It's Pat McGrath, man. 
Look at the lipstick. Look at the lips on the lipstick right there. This is beautiful. And I feel like this might be a really good lip set to wear when we do like our family events. Yes, I know, we have family events. So I did pick up an eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. It has been some time since I've picked up anything like her eyeshadow palette wise. And I picked up the Huda Beauty Chocolate Brown Eyeshadow Palette. It's like a chocolate lover's dream. I know I probably have a ton of these colors already, a good chocolate brown eyeshadow look. And I thought that this would also be a really good eyeshadow palette because I know I'm gonna be doing a couple of my friends makeup and I know that brown is just sometimes an easy color to work with or people typically like to go towards like browns and stuff and I figured I could play around with that and take that with me. The, one of the other reasons why I really like this eyeshadow palette was I liked the transition, like I liked the matte shades and how they transitioned into deeper shades. I thought that there was a really good like slow gradual increase in colors as you moved around for the um, shades for the mattes. I could create a really beautiful like matte brown blown out all over smoky eye or I can incorporate these browns into my everyday look or I can create like something really fun with the colorful shades. So really it was the mattes that sold me on it the most because I just liked that with this small of a compact palette there was enough color to kind of build up that um, that chocolate goodness. My last palette comes in this box and I just gotta give a kudos to Sephora for throwing this eyeshadow palette in this box. Although I think it's funny that they threw this in this box, but they didn't throw this one in a box. Um, although I have a feeling it's because of what's inside the box. The eyeshadow palette itself just might be a little bit more delicate than the other one. That's what I'm going with. Look at the way they package this. So they put this in here, then they put this and wrap it in here. I did pick up the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. It's, it's, it's my dream, it's my dream right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, this palette is so stinking beautiful. And I know it's been out for a little bit now, but again, your girl was waiting. I was trying to be, you know, money savvy and wait for these, these sales and save a little bit of money. And I just had to, like, I saw this palette and I was like, you are gonna be mine someday. And the day is now and I love the coloring. I use these colors so much, like right in this area, right here, I can see myself creating looks all the time. I love that I can create something up here, here, here. You know, I can take it this way, I can take it diagonal. Like there's just so many endless possibilities when I see this eyeshadow palette. These just look like this deep like wine color right here. These two are just calling my name right now. Mixed with a little bit of this, topped with a little bit of this and a little bit of this in the center. Oh, I'm so excited about this palette, you guys. So freaking excited. So um, I hope that I can film a makeup look using the products that I use for the holidays. If you guys would like to see it, let me know. But that is everything I picked up from the Sephora haul. I know it took me a while. I do apologize to get it up to you guys. It took a little bit of time, but I hope you guys enjoyed the Sephora haul. Uh, I will make sure to link everything I picked up down below, including the shades that I picked up. The only thing I didn't pick up, which I'm a little bit saddened by because now I'm like, I need new foundations. I didn't pick up a lot of foundation. I didn't pick up any foundations in my Ulta, in this haul or my Ulta haul. So that is my next haul. I think my plan is to spend January like going through my foundations, decluttering the ones I don't like, and then removing those and then starting fresh and like going to Sephora and Ulta and picking up like four or five new foundations to try out because I'm getting a little bored and I notice that I'm using the same ones and I need to like, clean out. So definitely going to be having some declutters come through. I have a lot of products that I need to declutter, um, especially with this past like year or so with COVID and everything, not wearing as much makeup. There's a lot of makeup I probably need to declutter and just start fresh. And I'm very excited to do that. So I'm going to add these to my new collection and we're going to start new. It's going to be small, but it'll make room to grow a whole new collection. And I'm I'm looking forward to it. So thank you again for watching today's video. If you guys like this, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.